Okay, good morning and welcome to Enos Bencino and today's Daphne of Almost Kofi of Gimel 113. We have a fabulous share for you today. Um, I'm going to start on Kofi of Gimel towards the bottom. I'm going to Allah towards the bottom. Shmuel makes an interesting statement. Shmuel says, Now we're talking about the wife of a Cheresh, right? Cheresh can marry a woman, a Cheresh's, or he can marry a woman who's a Bekachas. That's a marriage we learned that's valid on a Darabonan level. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marriage that's valid on a Darabonan level. So he's married to Rami Darabonan. So if she sleeps Bishogi with another man, which is adultery, it was a bit of a show gig, so she was drunk or she was drugged up. I don't know exactly what happened, or she mistook her husband for his doppelganger. I don't know how you pronounce that, doppelganger. Um, anyway, look alike, if you know what that means. So, um, there's no Yashem Tal. Yashem Tal is basically a korban when there's a del Raisa, whether you did it in Isra Chata, Chatas, Chatas is a korban brought when you did. Um, something that would amaze you would be karis, but shogi you bring karma chatas to base amigdash and atone for yourself. Asham tal is when you're mesupak, whether you did it, savik daraisa, you go to khumra, you bring the asham taloi. This is one of the rayas, whether where we go, savik daraisa is the khumra, midarabana, or midaraisa from the Torah. This is a raya, it's from the Torah. And the Torah requires you when you have savik daraisa to bring an asham taloi. So is that the rule, or that's just the exception? That's the discussion whether savik daraisa and khumra is a din, not Torah, a din midarabana. Um, we're going to get into that a little bit over here. Uh, Shmuel says in his first statement of Shmuel, he says, There's no marriage. He's not married to her. So the Gemara first attempts to say that's according to the, to the Rabbana. The Rabbana say a cherish is no das. The Gemara says, Can they even say according to Rabbalazar who holds that a cherish is a suffix whether he's a bar das or not? Um, but the reason Shmuel potters is because you need something called his chazik hisura, meaning. When I eat a piece of meat, and I, it's suffic whether that's chaleb or not, it's only one piece of meat, that's suffic d'raisa l'chol, it's suffic d'raisa, but you, according to, to Shmuel, you wouldn't bring a korban chat, a korban asham toli for that, why not? Uh, you wouldn't bring an asham toli because it's not his chazik yisura. When is shtei chatikos? We know one piece for sure is chaleb, another piece for sure is not chaleb, and you took one of those two pieces, we don't know what you did, that's worse than when you have one piece, and we're not sure if it's suffic chaleb, if it's chaleb or kosher meat. Why is that? Why is this Chazik Yisura worse? So, I'm going to use a concept in the Goyish world, but I believe it has relevance to the Jewish world also. It's the, if you've never heard of it, it's called Murphy's Law or Sod's Law. Uh, Murphy's Law is basically that anything can, that can go wrong will go wrong. And Chazaka basically is an assumption, a halakhic assumption. Uh, when we have reason to assume one way or the other, a status quo can be an assumption, or a Chazaka could be when we have the grounds based on the circumstantial evidence to make it um, to make it an assumption. And assumptions are valid in halakha, not for everything, not to be multi muslim That you need to take out money from another person, you need a raya. You need a strong proof, maybe an 80% proof. A chazal can be up to 75%, let's say. Uh, it's a suspicion or, or an assumption, if you want to say a little stronger word. And the Gemara Inquisition says that it's strong enough to, to burn trumo, to give someone punishment, to give them onshin, right? It's a good enough proof to give someone malchus. Uh, to give them mammon, mammon is, is, is harder to give them mammon. To give someone malchus, you could do it on a chazaka. Um, and here also, I like to say, when you, we don't have two pieces, we have one piece that we know is chayla, and one piece is kosher, so therefore, mercy, Murphy's Law, Mercy's Law, Murphy's Law tells us that whatever could go wrong, will go wrong. And we could assume, obviously, Murphy's Law is not fact, but it's an assumption. It's an assumption that whatever is going to go wrong, if we know there's a piece of chayla over there, we assume he ate one of two pieces, he ate the chayla. So there's a chazaka over there. And a chazaka is enough to mechayi, we got to bring a korban. Now, to bring a korban is really mamon. It's multi mamon, but it's not exactly multi mamon because you're not giving it to another person. You're just bringing the base of Migdash. It's sort of like being mafia, you're in a chasim. A chazaka works in order to release money from your bank account that you have to purchase Ashim Tali and bring it to the, to the base of Migdash. So the Chazaka would work just like it works to, to give an owner a malchus to a person. It would work also to mechayev a guy Hashem Tali according to Shmuel, and that would be this is the way we pass him. We need is Chazik Isura in order to bring Hashem Tali. If it's just one piece of meat, it's not is Chazik Isura. So that's a suffix a shakul. If it's a suffix a shakul, so then um, if it's a suffix a shakul, so then fifty percent, fifty percent chance. So then we would say in that case you don't bring Hashem Tali. Um, 
maybe we, we, maybe that would be the distinction of it. It's only right, so the chumra, when it's a zabiga shakal, it's only the chumra midar of bonar. When, it, when it's the skazik isura here, we're learning that to bring the ashram tall, you need a skazik isura according to Shmuel, which is, I think, how we the Ram of Pasch, you need a skazik isura. So then it's not because it's zabiga shakal, it's zabiga rice of the chumra, it's because the skazik isura makes it 75%, 25%. We can assume that you ate, Murphy's Law tells us you ate the one, we could assume you ate the wrong one, the one that's going to have you to bring a korban. So, therefore, you bring an Ashim Toloi, you don't bring a Khatas, because it's not for sure 100%, but you do bring an Ashim Toloi. Um, so that would come out of this Gemara. Um, I wanted to get into a second part, uh, we'll get into it briefly. Then there's another uh, Ikada Amri, which says, Shmuel says, he holds exactly like Rabbi Lazar, and he holds that if she did commit adultery, Bishogay, then she would uh, bring an Ashram Tali. She would bring an Ashram Tali. Um, <clears throat> even though it's not his Kazakh Surah. According to the first list, it had to be his Kazakh Surah. And here it's not his Kazakh Surah. It's only one woman. We don't know if that woman uh, committed adultery or not. Uh, she's, a, uh, she's married to a Kherish. You don't know if the Kherish is a Bardas or not a Bardas. According to the second language, even if it's not his Kazakh Surah, it would be enough to bring an Ashram Tali. Which you don't pass like the second Ika uh, the Amri. But where Masupik over here, the Cherish, is he considered a Bardas, in which case the, the marriage would be a Doraisa, or is he not a Bardas and it wouldn't be Doraisa? The problem I have with with this is that the Gemara already said, I believe on the Kuf Yud Aleph or Kuf Yud on the bottom, the Gemara pretty much set a very clear uh, definition of the marriage of a Cherish, it's not a Cherish. A Cherish is a man who is deaf mute, a woman who is deaf mute. It says her marriage is to anyone, even the man is a Pikeach, it's only the Rabbanon. Because it's knuyo mishriyaret, meaning there's a kinyan there of bana, but it's, it's not a full kinyan. I explained over there, in order to make a full kinyan, she's to be ba- basda. She has to have um, academic intelligence and she has to have social intelligence. The cheresh, she's deaf mute. She doesn't have the social intelligence. She doesn't have street smarts, but she has academic intelligence. She has half das. She can make half a kinyan. It was only the rabbana. Here, where there's a sad to say, maybe del raisa, the savik del raisa. How can be a savik del raisa? Uh, Right, so the Gemara actually goes into Rebbe Lazar, what Rebbe Lazar holds over here, um, and the Gemara has two stars. them. Either he holds that a cheresh is itim cholim vitim shota. That's the second way. Sometimes he's completely mentally competent. He has social intelligence and academic intelligence, and sometimes he's not. A shota has neither or one. And the first way of saying it is that he only has one. If he has full academic intelligence, social intelligence. He has a weak intelligence. So we're saying a cheresh has a weak social intelligence, but. Is that weak intelligence a clear weak intelligence or not a clear weak intelligence? And if it's a clear weak intelligence, then it's almost like he's a completely uh, a bardas, the raisa. Um, that is the question: How we reconcile these two gemaras over here? You could reconcile and say the difference between a cheresh and a hareshes, um, or there's another way of reconciling. I'm just going to outline this briefly: is that uh, in order to commit adultery. Um, there are certain Yisurim that are violations of the Kedushin, certain uh, violations of the Nisuin. I'm telling you a new thing over here. Nisuin is not the Be'ila. Nisuin, I've said before, Nisuin is the Be'ila. It's not the Be'ila. Nisuin is carrying the woman, Nisu, to carry the woman over your threshold into your house, the Yichud with her. And then Be'ila would, would make Havaya. There's Velakala, there's Yon Yawala, Kenyan, Kedushin, and Yibum. Velakala, the Isha, Lakicha is picking her up and carrying her to her house, Nisuin. And Baha'i Salolu Isha is a permanent marriage where people live together in a permanent fashion. So, even though we said before that a, a, a Hareshes and maybe a Ketana, they don't have Kedush in their Abana, and maybe it's Mashra and the Gemara, they don't have the Su in their they only have the Su in their Abana, because the Gemara did what they have before, a Ketana, the Asteli didn't have Su in, alright, so she's now, when she's a Ketana, she doesn't have the Su in, she only has the Su in their Abana, but maybe the Havaya, maybe the, the Havaya, a permanent marriage, they could have on a Derisa level. So, and maybe the, the violation of adultery is uh, a bitl, a nullification of uh, the havaya, the status of your marriage, the permanence of your marriage. That's what an adultery, uh, an affair does. It, it ruins the permanence of the marriage. So maybe that's what we're talking about over here. And that a chareshes or a cheresh and a chareshes both can have an right the raisa level. And that's why the gemara is a suffix me the raisa, whether he's actually on the raisa marriage or not on the raisa marriage before his posture. By Nisuin and Kedushin, it's only the Rabbanon. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you tomorrow.